Hey crafters, Sarah here with Craft Test Dummies and today I want to show you guys Ranger Ink and Tim Holtz's brand new Distress Marker Spritzer. Other companies have had similar products out in the past but Ranger and Tim debuted their own unique version this last CHA in January in Anaheim. So one of the things that I noticed is the big difference between this and other companies' versions of it is when I first got it out and started playing, the air chamber that you squeeze to make the air come out is really nice and easy on the hands. You can spritz for hours and your hand's really not going to get very tired. Also, it's easy to use with your left hand, so if you're a left-handed crafter, this tool is still for you. Another thing to note is that this tool works with a variety of markers that are already in your stash. So don't feel obligated to just use your distress markers. You can use just about everything. And different markers are going to have a different result for spraying. And when we get the full review up on Craft Test Dummies, you'll see lots of swatches with all of these markers that I tried. One thing to note is that it does not fit the Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens. They are just plain out too thick for this. And then your Spectrum Noir, um, the broad tip does fit in, but the barrel on the marker gets wider as you go towards your fine tip and it doesn't fit, which is fine because it is a smaller tip on the fine tip. So you're probably not going to get as good of a spray, but any other marker pretty much works with this guy. So if you do want to load a larger marker and we'll go ahead and try a Copic here, all you're going to do is unscrew the top and you're going to push this little inner barrel out. And now you've got a lot more room for larger markers. So all we'll do is get this little guy loaded in. You're going to want your tip of your marker to just barely pass the where the air comes out of on the little nozzle there. You'll reinsert your screw. And you just want it to barely tighten. And I'll show you guys why. If Right now it's perfectly snug, but if I over tighten this, see how you start to bend your tip? You don't want to do that. You don't want to ruin your really nice markers. So just get it nice and snug, but don't overdo it. You also don't want to crack any of the plastic housing uh, that is on the outside of your marker. And then to get your little tube back in there to fit other markers, all you do is line this flat side up with the flat side at the top of this. Put it in and reinsert your screw. So I'm going to go ahead and get a distress marker loaded in here. Again, make sure that your felt tip is just barely past where the air comes out of. Tighten it. And then one other thing I wanted to show you guys is you can see there's this flat ledge right here where the marker sits. You want to make sure, see right here, mine's a little off kilter. I would not get any spray on this. You want to make sure that it sits perfectly center on that flat ledge. And then when you spray, you want to spray directly downwards towards your paper. You don't want to angle your marker towards your paper. You want to angle the where the air is coming out of. So one good thing that I will say about this tool is it's fun to play with. And I highly recommend playing with it as soon as you get it out of the box. Um, it depends when you spray how close you are. So if you spray really close, you're going to get a really high amount of ink coming out of it. And it gives it a really kind of fun splatter effect. If I spray a little bit farther up, it's going to be a little bit more of a diffused spray. And then also it depends on how fast you spray. So if I am around, let's say here, and I spray really fast, I'm going to get, again, more ink coming out. Whereas if I spray slow, you're just going to get a few different splatters. So it just depends on what kind of look you're looking for. Now, let's see... Oh, what can you do with your distress marker spritzer? Well, you can do lots of things. Anything that you would normally do with your distress markers or inks. It just depends on the look. So let's say if you stamp and emboss an image in white and then you spray over the top of it, you can then wait for your ink to dry and then using a clean paper towel in a circular motion, just kind of go over um, the top and you will get that nice poppy white color with your sprayed ink still in the background. These are also really, really fun and great to use with Tim's new stencils. Um, you can spray in a rainbow kind of gradient. You can just spray different colors all over the place. I also made a tag um, that'll be posted on Craft Test Dummies with the full review. And with this one, I did uh, Tim's rub on resist technique where you take a sheet of his rub rubs and you just randomly rub them across your tag. And then you put your stencil over the top and you spray through that. And then again, let your ink fully dry and you um, rub off any excess ink off the top of your rub on. And then you get kind of this cool image where your 
um, sprayed stencil was, but then it's clean and crisp underneath your rub on. So it just depends. And again, this is a really great tool. To so another thing I wanted to show you guys is that let's say you have a lot of Ranger products already in your stash at home and you still want to play with the distress marker spritzer, but you don't have a lot of the distress markers. Well, you can go ahead and spritz with some of your other Tim products. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use Ranger's cut and dry pen nibs. And then you're also going to want to put your, get your hands on Ranger's craft nib holder. And then all you do, we'll start with our distress paint is we're just going to go ahead and put a little dab of it on our craft mat. We are going to spritz it with a little bit of water because otherwise the paint is thick that it won't really absorb into our cut and dry nib. So I'm gonna insert that into my nib holder and I'm gonna kind of mix it up and I'm just gonna slowly roll it through the paint and water mixture, pick it up a little bit, let it have a chance to absorb inside there and then you're gonna go ahead and reapply. Then I'll go ahead and clean up my little mess here. I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna insert this into my Distress Spritzer. And then all we'll do is spritz. And so you see you still get a really nice clean spritzing line with your Distress Paints. And if you sit and absorb more paint into the nib, you'll get a much much more coverage with it. The next one we'll go ahead and try out is our reinker. We'll just, again, on your craft mat, do one teeny tiny little drop of your reinker because it's highly, highly concentrated. And then again, you're going to want to spritz with water. And then we will take another one of our nibs and again, just kind of roll it around and let it absorb into the cut and dry nib. Insert it back into your marker spritzer and spritz. And you see there, you still get a really nice spritz with your reinker. And finally, we'll do the distress stain. Now, while I get this uh, loaded up, I just wanted to let you guys know that these craft nibs are completely reusable. So all you have to do is rinse them, let them dry out, and you can use all different colors in them and not feel obligated to buy packs and packs and packs of them. So with our distress stain, all we're gonna do is press down with our nib onto the top of our distress stain and we're gonna kind of roll it around. You'll feel the spring inside of the distress stain get depressed and that's what we want because that's what's gonna allow the ink to flow out and absorb into our craft nib. So I think I've got enough there. Reload it one last time. And spritz. And see there, distress stain works too. So I hope you guys got uh, some good information on the new Ranger Distress Spritzer. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and keep your eye out on Craft Test Dummy for the full review with swatches and more samples coming your guys' way. I hope you all have a crafty day.